welcome back. Today we're going to do a super easy recipe on key lime pie and it is delicious. This is a good one. We're going to use this Nellie and Joe's uh, key lime juice. This is directly down from, uh, from Key West and it's good. Sweetened condensed milk. We have some limes and we'll pull the juice out of those as well as zest them. And we have some plain Greek yogurt, not flavored. And a pie crust. That's it, yep. right? Yeah, because I was kind of lazy and I just get a pre-bought pie crust because... I think that's the way we always do it. It's too easy. It is. <laughs> Everybody should. Besides, pounding graham crackers into that <laughs> thing sucks. No, they have boxes that are already pounded, I think. Do they really? I think so. There you go. Anyways, we're going to get going. So we're going to do three-fourths of a cup of this, both of these cans, one cup of um, yogurt, and then we're going to juice and zest all four of those limes. Well, while you're getting the lime juice, I'll start opening the cans for you. Perfect. How much? One cup, you said? Yeah. And then um, I eat the yogurt and I dump some of this key lime juice in there to make my own key lime yogurt. Well, your mom's getting ready to make yogurt, so we'll keep a little bit of this to use as the starter. Okay. So <laughs> one, <laughs> one of mine and Deb's first dates, well, not one of our first dates, I guess. The first date, I first time I met her parents, we went over to their house for dinner. And I rem remember her mother, she made a, a lemon pie. And she saves it up and she says, this is so sour, it'll make your pee pucker. <laughs> I'm not going to say the word, but oh my gosh, I turned 45 shades of red. I was so embarrassed. Not that I haven't said those words. I just wouldn't say it to my brand new mother-in-law or soon-to-be mother-in-law. Correct. That works. What was that movie with uh, the Australian guy? Now, that's a knife. <laughs> I don't know that much. It was probably before you were born. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> we're going to zest and juice our lemons in here. And you gotta squeeze them on there because it gets the juice all rolly. Now we're gonna zest away. All right, so while zesting, you really only wanna get like the green off of, like the skin of the lime off of there. And it just gives it like an extra tangy taste whenever you do that, it's really good. I've made it a couple of times without it and you can taste little bit of a difference. I was just zooming in to get a better <laughs> shot too. Nice. Now that I made us a blooper, we're just going to go to the next one. And you just want to keep rotating it just to make sure that you're not getting too Let's much of again. the skin off of there. Maybe. I'm zoomed in on you right now. Oh. Anyways. No, these are don't have seeds in them. Really? Yeah. From here, we're just gonna mix all this together and then we're gonna pour it in our pie crust. And I wanna try to incorporate all this as much as you can, but the yogurt's kinda stuck to the bottom with the condensed milk. Mm -hmm. All right, so you just wanna mix this until you kinda have like a little bit of a smooth consistency. You may have a little bit of chunks from the yogurt in there, but it's perfectly fine. I feed it to my family either way and they enjoy it. All right, from here, we're just gonna transfer this into here and this will definitely have some leftovers, which is good because we already tasted it and it's damn good today. Can I, I can't see that on there, can I? Oh well. We're gonna transfer this into the oven at 375 for 15 minutes, and we're gonna let it cool for 30 minutes, and then we're gonna throw it in the refrigerator and set it for about three hours or so till it gets firm. Good. All right, so this is out from the oven after being in there for 15 minutes at 375. Now we're gonna let it sit out until it gets to room temperature, about 30, 45 minutes or so, and then we're gonna throw it in the refrigerator and let it set up and eat it in about three or four hours or so. It's a little more firmer now. No wonder why this is so good. <laughs> it's sweet as hell, huh? It's 
not good for my diabetes. Di diabetes? Yeah. Who's that guy? W Wilfred Brimley, right? They used to do those commercials. I think I forgot how to record videos. Slightly. You have the oven preheating too, right? Sure do. But That's we're not going to show that because, um, not sponsored, but we like Tony's Pizza and... <laughs> You're cooking a pizza along with this? No, it's just got pizza crumbs all in it. <laughs> we don't we don't have a studio oven. We have our dirty kitchen oven. <laughs> Sorry. It's for life over here. That's right. Here, let me have that can. I'm going to put these in there. Thank you. All right, we'll cut that part out. <laughs> We're a real family around here. Everybody True. does that. Um...